Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Scale Riders video. This is 65 Looks. Wanted to showcase a recent model that I just completed not too long ago. This was part of a two month build off that was hosted by the Now or Never build off. This is the model kit that I chose here from Aoshima, a Nissan Cedric. And I'm gonna show you guys the outcome of the build right here as you see it. Did it in the color blue. Some minimal customization that also went into this build. And something different that I did this time around compared to all my builds is I finally added some, some lights in the interior, headlights and tail lights, as well as a couple lights in the package tray um, area there. So this is the front end right here, as you see, of the Cedric. There is a lot of small areas that I filled in, uh, one being the, the front center area there where the vents were. Those got filled in from the body. Uh, right above over here, we also have uh, the, the vents that are, you know, between the hood and the windshield that also got filled in. Um, as far as the uh, windshield wipers, I went ahead and had those removed. Um, I molded all that with glue using the uh, Boss Smith Industries CA glue. Uh, just letting it dry, layering it, uh, letting it dry, then layer some more CA glue. Uh, from there, pretty much just, a, you know, some sanding primer, sanding primer. It's it's just a process uh, repetition uh, to try to get that smooth molded finish uh, right there. Um, on the headlights, you know, I had to apply some uh, chrome, mirror chrome finish in there. Attach it to the body, drill out the holes, and then you have the... Uh, the, the chip LEDs that are popping out of there. Uh, as far as uh, the wide body fenders, uh, you know, the, the wing in the back, and also the front lip, uh, those are all items that I ended up uh, flaking. I ended up using the Tropical Glitz uh, Flake Platinum Plus, and that was a um, flake that's the size of uh, 0 0.004, uh, the Ultra Fine. Uh, the, the type of paint I used on this build was a house of color uh, paint, pretty much uh, pearls, candies, and along with the, uh, with the metal flake here. If you see that heart-shaped uh, steering wheel, uh, that is from Lowrider Model Car Parts, Gavin, all the way out in Japan. Uh, this piece here was from a set he had done a while back with uh, collaboration with Cruisewell. It's a heart-shaped, it's chrome-plated as well. And I attached it to a, a steering, wheel, steering wheel column that was made by Mr. Model out in Brazil. And it just, I felt like it just complemented, you know, that steering wheel so well. As far as the interior, I had to go with the white. You know, I had met up with Armando Flores some weeks prior to this build being completed. And, you know, I was expressing to him that I was looking for crushed velvet for the car and you know he blessed me with some crushed velvet that I ended up using on the package tray along with uh, the front dashboard there in the car. Uh, the, the seats that, that I used on this car um, are came all the way from Spain. Uh, these were 3D printed and designed by White Chocolate 124. So there's a lot of parts and things that are on this build uh, from other artists that I uh, support and look up to and admire a lot of their work uh, that they do there. As far as uh, the, the rear section here, um, as you can see, there's uh, the heart-shaped handle right here uh, that is hanging from the bottom of the bumper. You know, prior to putting this on, I was debating whether to put it there or should I put it on the interior of the car on the side, more towards like the back seat. But, you know, just from doing research, I just felt like it would be more authentic. Uh, a lot of the way, you know, cars rock this out in Japan. So I just decided to place it there. Uh, that piece there is made from uh, Zumon. That's all the way based out in Hong Kong. As far as the exhaust, I went ahead and ex extended the exhaust a little more so it like sticks out. As you can see how far it sticks out right there. Uh, the tip. From the exhaust is also a zoom on. It's actually a spoon from a spoon muffler. Uh, I ended up cutting off the tip from the original muffler and then I ended up using some uh, raw tubing to extend the exhaust to the stock one that's in there. Um, that came with the kit. 
and I just pretty much attached, attached everything right there. Um, went ahead and extended that here. Let's get a little close up here. There we go. Um, as far as the, the rear lights, you know, since I'm keeping the theme with this car, mostly uh, complementing, com you know, the colors of this light blue and also with white, I wanted to keep the headlights uh, white as well. I didn't want to do the red. You know, to me, this is a, a custom car. Uh, I wanted to give those uh, those flavors of, you know, influence of the custom culture here in California, as well as the lowrider culture here in uh, California. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy with patterns, anything like that. I wanted to keep it very uh, timeless for this piece, especially like just imagining like what if I really own this car in real life um, here in the States or in Japan. And, you know, most of custom cars that I like seeing, uh, they they rock a lot of pearls. And I just, I, I love it when I see pearls. You know, it, it like never goes out of style. It's been around for a long time. And, you know, that that's what I wanted to do with this car. And, and the same thing with the, uh, with the flake, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the flake to me, it represents a lot, the custom culture here in California, but especially, you know, with low riders, a lot of the times you see roofs that are flaked and then, you know, they're, the patterns come along and, and this and that. And, you know, with this one, I just wanted to keep it really timeless. As you could see uh, from the top, you can see like the side edges of the body has white pearl, you know, um, and you see more of the, the center and the sides that are a little bit more of the blue. Um, and that's the blue candy, oriental blue from House of Color. Um, as far as the roof, the same, oriental blue with House of Color. The Another thing I wanted to point out is the rivets. I ended up adding uh, rivets from Zoom On model. These are very tiny rivets that were drilled. The, the fenders were drilled out, the little holes, and then they were inserted in there. And the front one has them in there. They kind of get a little lost in the flake, but you could see them as you get close. Uh, the wheels are Aoshima wheels. Um, I did a little uh, a, a black wash with the uh, Tamiya panel line there. They were just too shiny. And I was like, you know, they, it just looks more like a toy. It looks very plastic. So um, I, I need to do that back wash. You know, right here, I'm seeing the model, you know, on the desk here on the bench. But when I take it outside, it, it's it's like a whole different shine that I get. You know, it, it reactivates the pearls, the candy, everything just starts to uh, to pop there. So now you see here, the lights have been turned on. Everything's activated. As you see the, the blue interior here, uh, you can see a light coming out of the back seat on the floor. Um, you know, I pretty much drilled a small little hole from the bottom center of the seats. Um, then you have another light coming out of right underneath the steering wheel column there. And uh, here, let me turn this this way so you can see the package tray. There's two lights. There's one on this side, one on the other, which illuminates the back package tray. Uh, let's take a look at the headlights now. Here, we, here you have it right here. And we're also going to take a look at the rear lights as well. And after we show the rear lights, I'm going to turn off uh, the light I have right now on the model just to see how it illuminates. I mean, the room's not too dark, but, you know, we'll be able to get to see some light right here. And this was a, a two-month uh, build that I did right here. That was, like, the shortest time I've ever done a model um, build. All right, here we go. So there you can see it. Even the interior door panels, I took out the original ones. I got the shape of them and I ended up shaving them down, creating with styrene. And I pretty much flaked them as well. And there's pearl in there too. That's why you see a little, uh, that shine in the background there on the door panel. Um, so those are like the little Easter eggs that you see there. Here we go. As you can see, that light just shine right through the front. As far as the, uh, the uh, around the headlights, so those were black originally, and I was thinking of keeping it black, but it was just gonna throw the, the car off completely. 
So I had to prep them, had a you know, primer them black, and this way I can lay down some AK Interactive chrome paint on there. And I just really love the finish of that chrome plate. I mean, a paint. It's not, you know, you can't compare it to like, like real chrome or anything like that, but just the, the type of color that it gives, you know, it, it is definitely a different type of tone of color. And it's just another option up there with like Outclad and the same with Splash Paints. Here we go, turning it around. So, you know, there's this, there's gonna be different settings for this car, whether it's, you know, a, a day setting or even a night setting, different displays. And if I'm ever displaying this car in, you know, let's say at a show it, and it's indoors um, and it's, you know, maybe like some type of art gallery setting like that, I will be able to uh, t turn on the lights and people could see uh, this car, you know, illuminating. If, if this is more of an out, side setting then you know i most likely wouldn't turn on the lights and just let the flake the pearl and the candy showcase itself for what it is uh but yeah this is such a fun build um uh, you know shout outs to the guys that now or never build off that host these build offs i've never done one before you know the concept i had for this car was already on my mind you know when, when i started it right there um, I just, you know, it, it was one of those things that I was selecting which car do I want to do. I was very inspired by the box art. You know, you see the fenders and everything flaked out as well. Uh, but, you know, you, you see the uh, the vents there, the, the windshield wipers, the side view mirrors, the door handles, you know, those little vents in the center. And I just wanted to switch it up on mine. I wanted to get rid of all that, make it very custom, shave door handles, you know, um, just very, a very custom look. See the front there, like I was mentioning, it's it's uh, shaved off uh, right there. Such a fun build. I'm gonna uh, be doing more videos like this where I'm showing more of my current builds and also some past builds. As of lately, I just been very active uh, working on my builds. Um, it's been fun being back on the bench Aside from working, you know, doing the online store and everything, I appreciate everyone's support, uh, picking up the tools and items. And, you know, I'm just going to keep on showcasing uh, my builds and everything and, and kind of just going from there. Um, but, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, expect more videos. 65 Lokes. Peace out.